So I'm here with the dirt from the two bins. This is from the Kinetic. <sighs> Sorry. Whenever I say Kinetic, I mean the big ball. Some of it blew over there. But here's the dirt. You can see there's a lot of fine particulates and sand. Let's try and separate the pet hair from the sand. But look at all the sand though. So here's what the ball animal picked up. Let's try and again collect all of the sand into one bit. With some fibers and fuzz too. Here's all the little bits and pieces and super, super fine, fine particles that that machine picked up. Like some of these are only a few microns in size. I'm sure some of this is from the cyclone. But here's what the Animal 2 got up. I did some vacuuming with the Animal 2 after the video. But here's what the Animal 2 got up. It's really... This amount of dirt is in, not very much after you pick up all this. This has also been wound up. If this was whole, like this is fluffy, it's not as compacted, but this is really wound up. Look at all this hair. You can see it's all wound up with the balls from spinning around. Some bits of paper, but really, let's try and vacuum up just the hair. <laughs> All we have left is fine particulates. We've separated hair and stuff from fine dirt and sand. There's a little bit of fuzz right there. Not much. But as you can see, this is what the Animal 2 picked up after the canister. This is what the canister got. That's really not very much left by the Dyson up by the Dyson canister that the upright picked up. You can see. Oop. Yeah, it picked up some that's fuzz. But really, compared to all of the fine particles that the canister got out, that's really not that bad at all. <laughs> So really overall, that's not that bad at all. That's insignificant amount of dirt. That's some pet hair, yeah. That's, but the sand, it got out all the particles and fine, fine debris and particles this canister did. Like that's, that's a feat for a canister vacuum because most canister vacuums leave that stuff behind. This one did not. Pre-motor filter. Wow. Is that something? Like, let's, let's, let's wipe. Nothing. Nothing got past the two-tier cyclones. Like, I can't even tell you how many of them are in here. Let's see. Twenty-eight cyclones on this guy. Ah, uh, that's quite a few. And they're super small. They're almost as small as kinetic. And they all filter down into that center gray part. The outside of the gray part is for cyclonically filtered dirt. The inside is for whatever dirt comes in through the bottom. Like that's the where the dirt enters into the bin. So fine materials on the outside of the gray part. Dirt comes in through the center of that. So 
that's pretty freaking cool. That's an awesome design. That's really cool. Dyson has really done it with that. You can see there's a couple hairs on the screen, but not much. This is definitely the strangest canister vacuum I have. Well, actually, it's just the strangest looking vacuum I have at all. That's where all the hair comes from. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.